And that brightly lit object is called a planet killer. It's a massive asteroid orbiting near Earth. Around 66 million years ago, Earth's Cretaceous period ended with a bang. With a diameter of tens of kilometers, an asteroid hit the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico with an impact velocity exceeding 40,000 miles per hour. The collision that followed, called the Chicxulub Impact, produced a crater about 200 kilometer wide and released a billion times more energy than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima, producing a center of superheated plasma that was above 10,000 degrees Celsius. Nearby life faced swift annihilation. The long-term consequences of this impact includes a worldwide reduction in sunlight and a prolonged period of global cooling, which contributed to a mass extinction that wiped out 75% of all species on Earth, including dinosaurs. So consider what would happen if an asteroid that size collided with Earth right now. Wouldn't that result in the extinction of humanity as we know it? Imagine finding out that Earth is about to be struck by a second, equally enormous asteroid of the same size, and that there's a possibility it will collide with Earth? NASA recently revealed that an asteroid formerly known as the Lost Asteroid poses a serious risk of striking with Earth in 2024. How big is this asteroid? Can it cause human extinction? Are we prepared for a catastrophe like this? Join us today as we explore more about the potential consequences of this asteroid. The surface of the Blue Planet has been severely damaged by asteroidal impacts on multiple occasions, leaving behind enormous craters. When asteroids from space enter the Earth's atmosphere and collide with the surface, these events are known as impact events. These impact events have the potential to release energy comparable to a nuclear bomb. A notable incident in modern history is the 1908 Russian event known as Tunguska. According to estimates, the 220 million pound asteroid entered Earth's atmosphere at a speed of about 53,903 kilometers per hour. It heated up to 24,704 degrees Celsius before breaking into multiple fireballs. Surprisingly, the explosion generated enough force to destroy an estimated 80 million trees across 830 square miles which is 2,150 square kilometers, clearing an area larger than London. A fireball, or bluish light almost as bright as the sun moving across the sky, was reportedly seen by witnesses. It was also reported to be followed by a flash and a sound comparable to artillery fire. Furthermore, a strong shock wave knocked people off their feet and shattered glass hundreds of miles or kilometers away. The impact was visible from a distance of up to 1,000 kilometers, and seismic waves were detected all the way to England. On the other hand, the approximately tennis court-sized asteroid Chelyabinsk struck Earth's atmosphere in 2013 as it raced from southeast to northwest at a speed of almost 70,000 kilometers per hour. This asteroid hit the city, shattering windows all around it, and injuring almost 1,500 people with flying glass. The energy released by the asteroid when it exploded in the sky was the same as the detonation of roughly 500,000 metric tons of TNT. But keep in mind that there are other factors to consider when determining an asteroid's impact. Its magnitude is not the only one. It's important not to underestimate the threat of asteroids hitting Earth. If the full force of Tunguska had hit London, millions of people would have died, and everything on the M25 would have been destroyed. Tens of thousands would have still died if it had struck anywhere else in the UK. However, it is possible that the smaller, more frequent asteroids pose the true threat. 
Thus, it is important to do research to learn more about the hazard posed by asteroid strikes and undertake efforts to eliminate it. A large, huge crater is typically left behind by asteroids on the surface of the Earth. There are most likely millions of asteroids that could collide with Earth. Fortunately, such massive asteroids are extremely rare. If they struck us, the results would be disastrous. According to astronomers, Earth should encounter one of these massive asteroids, like the one that took out the dinosaurs, roughly every 100 million years. Although millions of tiny meteoroids land on Earth every day, an object approximately 100 meters wide should come every 1,000 years. Within the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, millions of rocks orbit, although only a small number pass significantly close to Earth. Asteroids that orbit the Earth within 30 million miles or 50 million kilometers are classified as near-Earth objects, or NEO. However, there is a portion of these space rocks that are very concerning because they are so big and orbit so close to Earth that they may actually threaten our planet in the event of a direct collision. These hazardous rocks are referred by NASA as potentially hazardous asteroids. Near-Earth objects that have a diameter more than 460 feet or 140 meters and have a chance to get close to Earth within 4.65 million miles are considered potentially hazardous. This is roughly 20 times the distance between Earth and Moon. This size of asteroid can cause massive destruction and countless injuries if it were to pass through Earth's atmosphere without burning up, especially if it impacted in a large city or other highly populated area. NASA had counted over 31,000 NEOs as of right now. Approximately 2,300 of those are thought to be potentially dangerous. The orbits of many of these objects, which originated in the main asteroid belt, changed over the course of millions of years as the solar system changed. NASA estimates that the majority of known NEOs have a diameter of more than 460 feet. All throughout the world, amateur and professional astronomers scan the skies, looking for pinpricks of light moving. The skies are observed from space by a spacecraft known as NEOWISE. The Minor Planet Center of the International Astronomical Union receives reports from anybody who spots an asteroid or comet. This center gathers data on all observations of tiny planets in the solar system, including asteroids and comets. From there, researchers at other observatories can take additional observations to ascertain the exact orbit of an asteroid and whether it poses a threat to Earth. One such asteroid is 2007 feet 3, also known as Lost Asteroid. Asteroid 2007 feet 3, which was first observed in 2007, is an Apollo-class asteroid which means that its orbit intersects with that of Earth's. Scientists were confused by this asteroid since it strayed off its path and made tracking difficult. Since its original discovery, attempts to detect it have been unsuccessful due to its short observation arc of about 1.2 days. The asteroid is known as a lost asteroid since it hasn't been seen in a long time, but it was visible for long enough for astronomers to calculate its orbit and determine whether it could be a risk to Earth. And guess what? It turns out that it was. The object made its way onto NASA's Century Risk Table, a list of objects that may have an impact on Earth. 89 possible impacts are indicated by the Agency for Near-Earth Object Studies of NASA. One of these potential impacts was set for October 5th, 2024. So, it will be here in a few months. The asteroid gained media attention when it was announced that the year of its possible impact was almost here and that a hit would be big enough to cause major regional damage. Every 439 days, or 1.20 years, 2007 feet 3 completes an orbit around the Sun, 
traveling as close as 0.78 AU and as far as 1.48 AU. But how big is this asteroid? 2007 feet 3 is estimated to have a diameter of between 0.266 and 0.594 kilometers based on its brightness and light reflections. This puts it larger than 90% most asteroids, but smaller than huge asteroids around the size of the U.S. capital. What will happen if this asteroid hits Earth? It has the potential to release as much energy as 2.6 billion tons of TNT if it were to strike Earth. That is approximately 48 SAR bombs, or 2,600 megatons of TNT, the greatest nuclear bomb to ever detonate. The asteroid may not be big enough to cause an extinction-level event, but it is still huge enough to do serious damage regionally and may even have worldwide climatic effects. But wait, we have a good news. The chances of the asteroid slamming into Earth is around 1 in 11.5 million on the 5th of October, 2024. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory's Century Risk Table has been closely tracking the expected collisions of 2007 feet 3 with Earth. According to the most recent calculations, there is still a minimal chance of having an impact during the next century. It is important to recognize, nonetheless, that low probability is not equivalent to little effects. Minimizing the latent hazard posed by such NEOs requires constant improvement of our monitoring methods and creation of advanced computational models. NASA launched a mission in December of last year to intercept Apophis, the asteroid nicknamed the God of Chaos. In 2029, the enormous asteroid, nearly three times the size of Mount Everest, will pass by Earth at a distance of just 20,000 miles from the orbit. In the Northern Hemisphere, Apophis should be observable with the unaided eye because to its close proximity. It's certainly disturbing to consider the possibility of an unseen asteroid speeding toward Earth. However, humanity has confronted a situation like this before. Although NASA and other space agencies have identified and tracked over 30,000 asteroids, the concern about the possibility that there are still undiscovered celestial bodies hidden from view by the sun's glare is increasing. Technological advancement provides a ray of hope, as proven by NASA's successful completion of the DART test last year. The goal of these advancements is to create plans for reducing the possibility that asteroids will strike Earth. Although the exact location of the lost asteroid 2007 feet 3 is still unknown, NASA is persistent in its dedication to diligent observation and detection, doing everything within its power to protect Earth from any potential cosmic threats. In recent decades, Astronomers have realized the potential for asteroids to strike Earth. That possibility is very real. The entire world has come to realize how important it is that, as a planet home to 7.6 billion people, astronomers keep watch of asteroids, comprehend their potential hazard, and even talk about what to do in the event that we discover one is headed directly for Earth. Hopefully, we would learn this some years before it happened and not days before. Movies such as Deep Impact narrate stories of brave astronauts who risk all to reach space and smash rogue asteroids that are heading straight for Earth. However, actual life isn't so dramatic as usual. Scientists have concluded that using inhuman techniques is the best approach to protect Earth from an asteroid collision. We can make an asteroid completely miss Earth by slightly changing its orbit. 2007 feet 3 is a prime example of the ongoing cosmic dance between celestial bodies in our solar system. While its orbit may bring it into close proximity with Earth, the likelihood of a catastrophic impact remains low. 
However, continued observation and research are essential to accurately assess and mitigate any potential threats posed by asteroids like 2007 feet 3. By staying vigilant and advancing our understanding of these space rocks, humanity can better prepare for any eventualities that may arise from their celestial wanderings. What do you think? What are the chances that 2007 FT3 will hit Earth? Comment down below your views about it, and don't forget to subscribe our channel for more interesting space-related content. Thanks for watching.